This camp in Northeast India's Manipur state is Ninhoi Ho Dorka's home for the foreseeable future. She moved here after the ethnic violence flared up in May. With no access to a university, books or even the internet, Dorcas is worried about completing her degree. The 20-year-old is studying to be a doctor and had to travel to a neighboring state to sit for her exams. We don't even get a chance to take out our books from our homes. We just came out from our homes with just two clothes and with our bags. And here though, since many people are staying here, uh, we can't concentrate uh, on our studies anymore and we are full of tension. Activists accuse the government of denying people their basic rights and the internet blackout has only worsened the situation. That society there has regressed to a feudal order which is pre-digitization. It does not mean that you are not being able to access Netflix. It means for a lawyer they are not able to access the cause list of the Manipur High Court. It means for people they cannot draw their pensions properly, access their net banking, for young children to actually access the educational content which is made available. At this front line, Kuki volunteers stand guard. They include young men like Satgung Mang Kipjin, who's traded his studies for the trenches. They fear being attacked by the Meitheis if they leave their posts. Trouble in Manipur began three months ago when a court recommended extending state benefits granted to the minority Kukis to the majority Meitheis. The violence has killed more than 150 people and displaced tens of thousands of families. Because of this war, we can't even study properly and we have to uh, stay a whole day, whole night. We have to uh, in bunker so that uh, our parents, our Mm, brother and sister can, uh, could stay peacefully. Manipur's education ministry says more than 14,000 children have been displaced. To keep young people busy, this football coach has stepped in and is offering training. Just by having some time to play lets them believe they have a future. Even the parents are happy to bring them here. It keeps their mind off things. As the standoff between the Kukis and the Meite shows no sign of being resolved, young people on both sides are hoping they won't be forgotten. Umakulsum Sharif, Al Jazeera.